Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, what's good? I'm Jordan, welcome to the fam. Why do I always have just one random hair sticking out? Okay, also, if my hair looks busted, dusted, musty, crusty today, okay, your girl restarted 75 hard with my man. I'm super excited we're doing it together, but it does require those two 45 minute workouts a day. Um, one of them being outside, so I'm gonna have to rock like some cute hats, some hoops, you know, the upcoming 75 days because it's getting like, when I work out, I get super sweaty. Um, but I just washed like the top half of my hair today and I used dry shampoo and I'm feeling like she's looking okay. So, Vlogmas, we're here, all right? I'm doing Vlogmas for December, a lot of you already know, but I'm uploading every other day. So far, I've stayed consistent on that and I'm stoked. So for today's video, we are doing a very requested what I eat in a day. I recently started counting macros and calories again because I am determined determined, okay, to be in the best shape of my life by my birthday, mid-February. Um, obviously, it will take longer than that to like, you know, keep going on my ultimate goal. Um, this morning, I weighed 183. I think I wanna be like around 160 to feel my best. Um, last time I really went on like a leaning down journey, I ended up around 165 and I felt amazing. I had developed a lot of muscle, just, you know, feeling good. So. I'm excited to say if you watched um, my video like two weeks ago, I weighed myself on camera. I believe I was 189.5. I can double check in my fitness pal. Um, and today I weighed 183. So in a little over two weeks, I've dropped like six and a half pounds. 75 hard is definitely helping with that as well as just being in a calorie deficit. Um, so I will put the little clip right here for you guys of me weighing myself on the scale this morning. I was super excited to see that progress. It just motivates me to keep going. Um, again, I was using the body analyzer scale from Vanity Planet, which I've mentioned so many times on my channel. They've been amazing at supporting my channel and have worked with me repetitively over the years. Um, so I do wanna let you guys know if you wanna snag this scale before Christmas, I have a 60% off code. I think they offered me like 40 or 50% off for you guys in the past, but it's 60% off right now. Snag it immediately. They always sell out. Um, the new code is JFIT, so J-A-Y-F-I-T. If you haven't seen any of my other previous videos, it's just a scale I've been using for like four plus years. I always talk about this, but Christian accidentally somehow got it in the bath. It like fell in the bath in one of my first apartments and I repurchased it. Um, they had sent me that one, but then I repurchased it because I just loved it so much and do not want to use anything else. Whether you are gaining muscle, losing fat, whatever it is, I personally like to weigh myself on the exact same thing every day. So it's a really good Christmas gift for you, anyone in your family, anyone you know that's on a fitness journey. It does measure your body fat, muscle mass, water weight, and bone mass. Like I said, it's really easy to set up. It comes with the batteries already included. Just pop them in the back and then it holds eight profiles. Um, so it's really just a good tool to have on your fitness journey. I know a lot of us are like, you know, trying to like get these bodies right come new year. Okay. So, um, yeah, I do want to share with you guys. Like I said, I'm counting macros, weighing out my food. I'm currently around like 700, 1,740 calories personally. Um, so I wanted to do a full day of eating today of what I've been eating like the past two ish weeks. Um, the title to say 40 pounds because at my heaviest, I was 219. My first year of college when I lived in the dorms, very sad, depressing time in my life. Okay. Horrible. We don't know her. We don't want to go back to that. So, and then currently today I was 183. So that's like almost 40 pounds, like 37 and a half pounds down. And when I leaned down a few years ago, when I started counting macros, counting calories, these were the exact meals that I ate to lose almost 40 pounds, I think like 39 then as well. So, you know, she's back on it. We're here, we're excited. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy fitness, what I eat in a day. I've also uploaded three prior Vlogmas videos. My babe is in the videos. He finally let me film him. I know a lot of you had wanted to see that. I showed my new car, a little couples workout yesterday. Um, so if you haven't caught up on Vlogmas and you're just not doing anything this weekend, just go to my playlist, you know, just like scroll through, get caught up, would love to have you. So I'll link the scale down below for the 60% and let's hop into the meals. All right, so I wanna give you guys a few different breakfast options. This is what I'm having this morning. Sometimes I will do an egg mash or an English muffin or a little breakfast sandwich, so many different things. But for some reason today I was craving oats. So I had these in the pantry, these Quaker oats. They are 150 calories per one half cup dry. So I just put a half cup of the dry oats um, in the bowl, weighed them out, and then I filled all the oats with water, put it in the microwave for two minutes, um, and then they really fluffed up, and this is how much it made. This is a super filling... Um, breakfast. You do have some protein there because we added the PB2, but it's it does have a lot of carbs as well. Um, but that's okay. I'm eating 160 carb per day. I have plenty of room for that. I filled up a 24 ounce water. I'm having a full gallon every day. The maple walnut syrup from Walden Farms, zero calories, and that is amazing. 
I did half a cup of frozen blueberries for 70 calories, and then I did one serving of the PB2. Now this is not my favorite, I would rather have like chunky peanut butter from Skip, but that's 190 calories for every two tablespoons, and this is only 50, so you just pop this in, just weigh it out, it's just powdered. Um, this comes in so many different flavors, also nut butter is really good, completely your guys' preference. Um, but then I also put 100, what was it, 150? All right, so we have 166 grams of strawberries, um, half a cup of the blueberries, half a cup of the oats, and the uh, protein uh, PB powder. And then the Walden Farms is no calories. So pretty good hearty breakfast. I love this. It will definitely keep me full. And it's really low on calories. So my total for breakfast is 290 calories. And then, of course, I always have my micro factor vitamin pack here. We have the antioxidant, multivitamin, COQ10, fruits and veggies, probiotic, and EFA. So the only thing that I need to take in addition to this, this pretty much covers all my daily veggies, but it does not cover fish oil. So I actually have the fish oil up here separate. And then we have the full mega. Um, the Harmony also I've been taking a lot recently to balance out it's to balance out women's hormones specifically and improve mental focus. Um, and then I've also been adding in the collagen and the hair, skin, and nails for my nail growth and my hair growth. And honestly, it's been helping with like my acne too. Like my face has been looking a little bit better. And the collagen is actually flavorless. So you can add it into smoothies, whatever, literally not gonna taste it. Okay, so right after breakfast, the doorbell just rang and this box came from Adidas. Now I ordered a huge Black Friday haul from them with like a bunch of shoes and stuff and I'm shaking this and there's only one thing in here. So I'm not sure if they ship my order in like multiple shipments, but I have no idea what's in here. So let's just find out together. I know I ordered shoes and socks and like a hoodie on Black Friday, but again, not everything could fit in here. So I, I guess they're shipping everything separately. Let's just see what we got. I totally forgot I got this. This is the Adidas Original Tote. Let's see. Ooh, I love this. It's like a little snakeskin. Let me, you guys over here. It's like a little snakeskin crossbody bag. I thought this would be nice to just go out with Christian when I only need to take minimal things. It's pretty thin on the side, so nothing too bulky could fit. But my wallet, um, maybe like a snack and then there's like a big shoulder strap it's kind of got like that snake skin material Ooh, i love that i think they were having what was it like 30 percent off the whole website on black friday so i grabbed a few things um again there's like socks and there should be another pair of shoes and a hoodie coming so i don't know it's probably just in another shipment but i don't even remember what these are i don't even remember the style or color that i got let's see oh that's weird the box is like cut open halfway okay Ooh, I completely forgot that I ordered these! Okay, why do these look way too big? So these are a nine and a half, but I heard that Adidas Ultra Boost sizing is off with Nike. I always have to size down. Oh my god. So pretty. I do not want to get these dirty. So I got a nine and a half. These are the Ultra Boost 20W, I guess. So I have the um, Adidas NMD, which I'm actually wearing right now, which are these like sock feel. You just like pull them on and they're like super comfy. That's what this top reminds me of. But these are definitely thicker. I heard these are really, really good for running. I've always wanted them, but they're really pricey. So again, I just snagged them on Black Friday. So I'll keep you guys updated how I like them. All right, I'm cooking up some veggies for my boo. He's about to go to work. I figured I would also show you guys what he's eating today because I'm helping him with his meals. Um, so I put a little of the island teriyaki sauce. This is from Trader Joe's on the veggies. We have Brussels sprouts. We also have asparagus. I'm doing a full pack of jasmine rice for him along with um, these meal prep containers we also got at Walmart. I can link them down below if you guys want. They have like compartments. It's really nice. This is Italian seasoned chicken. We're going to do a little bit of cashews, uh, maybe a few more snacks, maybe a protein bar. I'm going to finish up everything and count out the calories and then we'll see. All right, so before he heads off to work, I just made this breakfast mash. Um, I did not have this this morning. My breakfast calories were a lot lower. I actually had the oatmeal, but for him, we did four eggs, um, a full cup of shredded Mexican cheese, two tablespoons of salsa, and then we have two slices of sourdough with the, I can't believe it's not butter, which is this one, which is a little bit better macros than regular butter. Um, again, he has he's eating way more calories than me for the entire day, so he has room in his calories and macros for like a bigger bulkier breakfast like this obviously the eggs are really good in protein usually I would add in the Jimmy Dean sausage crumbles but we're actually out of those but you can add in turkey slices ham any protein into the eggs that you want 
Um, but for, day, for today, excuse me, we just did the eggs and cheese because I need to go buy more of the Jimmy Dean products. Okay, so for him, we ended up doing two cups of jasmine rice. I just put that in a separate Tupperware. Here we have two cups of the seasoned chicken. This is about a cup and a half of Brussels sprouts, and then I, I put that teriyaki seasoning on there from Trader Joe's. We have the level one protein bar, really good macros. This is also a meal replacement. There's 26 grams of protein. Salted caramel is our favorite. I also have the peppermint, the um, holiday version that they, or are they the holiday ones they came out with, which are dun, 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 these guys, but they're not my actual favorite. Um, for some reason, I'm not like the biggest peppermint fan, but if you want to try the first form bars, salted caramel and chocolate chunk is where it's at. They're so bomb. So then we have the cashews. We have a little note as always. Oh, and then one other protein bar because we ran out of the premier protein shakes. So this will just be another protein source. And then we're both having an egg mash for breakfast. So he's already getting like that protein and carb in for the morning. And then there's also still room left like in his total, oh, God, I can't forget the vitamins, um, daily calorie count to get like a smoothie, a protein smoothie at work or a salad or something like that. So I'll pop those in there and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna make my lunch now. It's almost 2 p.m. Sometimes I make salads completely from scratch along with my other meals, but sometimes you just need something convenient on the go, right? So they have this at Target. Um, they do have the macros on the back. It's 540 calories, including the sauce packet, which I'm not gonna use. So it comes out to about 430 calories without that. So we have our protein with the turkey, some ham. I think there's another protein in there mixed in. Red tomatoes, carrots, cheddar cheese, Munster cheese, and a hard boiled egg, along with a bunch of greens for some micros. So I'm just gonna pop this into the bowl. I'm gonna do half a serving of light cashews for some crunch. <laughs> Feed my eyelashes. Um, uh, because I just like a little crunch in my salads and I'm not really allowed like Tostitos chips or Cheetos or anything crazy like that because I'm on 75 hard. It has to be predominantly clean food. And then for dressing, we have two options. Um, we usually have this guy. But I'm almost out. The creamy Caesar Bolt House Farms. I've talked about this a million times. But for today, I'm actually going to make my own version of a DIY Chick-fil-A sauce. So I really like the Chick-fil-A sauce. It's the yellow one in the little packets. A lot of people put it on their Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches, but I also like it on my salads. But I don't have that. So to make it at home, if you guys want to make it at home, it's equal parts mayo, mustard, barbecue, and honey. I'm currently out of honey, so I'm just going to mix up these three. And I got light mayo. It's better on the macros. So I'm actually going to weigh this out. I'm going to do 15 grams of each one and that equals like one serving of sauce um i'm gonna put it in like a cute little bottle so i can like squirt it nicely on top to take a picture of my salad because you know you gotta just do it for the gram okay but yeah that's gonna be lunch protein filled salad with the diy chick-fil-a sauce decide which one of these to have it's like 4 20 p.m i think time for a snack we're gonna do a protein snack um i've also really been loving the formula one the vanilla milkshake is my favorite flavor i'll mix it with one cup of almond milk with a little bit of honey or cinnamon along with ice and a frozen banana that's a really good like protein shake as well um oh hair come on um but so i'm either gonna have the level one bar sa salted caramel I'll put a link down below for any first form products that I'm sharing. You guys can always get free shipping. And if you're unhappy with any product, you people don't know this, but you can send it back and get a full refund. They have like a full money back guarantee because they just 100% stand behind their stuff. But this is 260 calories, 13 fat. We have 19 carb and 20 protein for this guy. They all, oops, sorry. They also have the peppermint flavor, but I personally like the salted caramel the best. And then these one bars I get at Target. This is 220 calories, 23 carb, 20 protein, and eight fats. The birthday cake has always been my favorite. I think I'm just going to go ahead and have this one along with one string cheese. And then um, for dinner tonight, my mom is actually over, so I'm actually going to order dinner. Um, I've been doing really good the past few weeks just making everything, making veggies, rice, chicken, but I'm kind of like over that. So I'm going to order something that's still healthy, that fits in my macros, and show you guys kind of how I order out and track that in my fitness pal. Okay, so if you've been watching me a hot minute, you know my obsession with the habit is real. Um, however, I am on 75 hard. I'm not doing croutons or crazy sauce or their own dressing. I'm kind of going to do it my own way. So we're going to order the Habit Grilled Chicken Caesar Salad. I'll put the MyFitnessPal, the macros up here. Also, please thumbs up this video or comment below. Give me some feedback. A lot of you said you want to see the macros for every meal. Is that helpful? Should I include it in the videos? Should I not? Um, but this one, it's 690 calories. 
36 carb, 39 fat, and 45 protein. Now, I want to have this, but the dressing they put on is way too much. I only have 57 grams of fat a day, and this, is, this would take up 39 of them. So I'm not going to have all of that. What I'm going to do is ask for it with no croutons and no dressing. Um, so I'm actually going to use this dressing. This is a really good macro-friendly option. Bolt House Farms Creamy Caesar, 45 calories for every two tablespoons. So this is a really, really good option. They have tons of different Bolt House like flavors. They have a ranch, a cilantro one, cilantro. What am I doing talking? Cilantro. It costs to live like this, okay. <laughs> Just if anyone gets that TikTok reference, leave it down below. Um, I feel like people are not gonna know the reference and they're gonna be like, ew, it costs to live like this, like rude. Anywho, I've been following this new girl, Tasia, and after every sentence, she's just like a comedian. After every sentence, she's like, it costs to live like this. But she's hilarious. Anywho, off topic. 45 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs. Um, so I'm gonna do no croutons, no dressing. And then that leaves me with 19 calories left for the day and I killed it. So I'm gonna go ride the Peloton tonight for 45 minutes. That's gonna be my second workout. Um, and that is going to be my last meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little what I eat in a day If you want more of these let me know I'm eating very clean for the next 70 days for this challenge um, And I'm sticking to it 100% I'm drinking a gallon of water every day We actually just ordered new like gallon flasks from this Amazon shop which should be here soon They're like tie-dye. They look super cute. Um, if they get here I'll show you guys or I will show you for sure on my Instagram um, But I hope you guys enjoyed go ahead and give the video a like also I've uploaded prior vlogmas videos if you want to see this little hair transformation my new car car tour, a workout with my babe. Just go ahead and click on my previous videos. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Also, I am uploading today on Instagram my huge makeup giveaway. I spent $1,000 at Sephora and Ulta for you guys because I always do just like a huge giveaway and now my fridge is beeping and some of you guys are going to kill me because I always leave the fridge open. Um, so come over there if you want to win that. But anywho, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in tomorrow's vlogmas. Bye.